Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nina kusalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo hujambo mtoto. Mimi si jambo. Namshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kunipatia siku nyingine jema na nashukuru kwa sababu hata wewe amekupatia siku nyingine jema ambao tumekusanyika hapa kwa sababu ya ibada yetu ya Destiny Kids Service ambao hukujia hapo kwako nyumbani kutoka hapa mjini Nakuru chini ya watumishi wa Bwana Apostle John Kemani William na Reverend Naomi pia tuna wachungaji ambao Bwana ameinua kwa sababu ya kazi yake wanaohudumu hapa pamoja na sisi pamoja na watumishi wake na tunazidi kukukaribisha katika kipindi hiki Mimi naitwa Mwalimu Beatrice na kabla hatujaendelea na ibada yetu ya siku ya leo ningependa tuombe ili tuanze ibada yetu ili tuweze kuendelea tukiwa tumealika the presence of the Lord together with us So let's pray hapo nyumbani na wewe nafasi ya kuomba ili tuendelee katika ibada hii. Wacha tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakutukuza na kukuabudu kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. Asante kwa sababu ya siku hii njema uliyoiandaa ili tufurahi na tushangilie tukiwa mbele zako na vile ambavyo umeandaa kila mmoja wetu kuingia katika ibada hii. Tunajua na kufahamu ya kwamba Bwana wewe umetuleta mahali hapa ukiwa na kusudi lako ili kutu fanikisha katika maisha haya katika jina la Yesu Kristo na kwa hivyo siku hii yetu ibada ya siku ya leo tuikabidhi mikononi mwako wakati wa ibada za sifa wakati wa ibada za worship tunakualika roho mtakatifu ndio uweze kutawala na kutamalaki na hata uweze kuwahudumia watoto hawa pamoja na wale wote ambao wanasikiliza na kufuatilia ibada hii tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako hata wakati wa presentations na wakati wa neno lako wakati neno lako litakapohubiriwa hali hapa tunaomba ya kwamba utatusaidia kuelewa na kufahamu makusudi yako na kufahamu hata mapenzi yako kuhusiana na maisha yetu ya siku hii ya leo na hata siku zijazo twakabidhi mpangilio wote uh, wa ibada ya siku ya leo katika mikono uh, mikononi mwako bwana tukijua ya kwamba tunapokualika bwana utakuwa mwanzo na utakuwa mwisho na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen uh, mtoto wasema amen hapo nyumbani Nazidi kukukaribisha katika ibada hii ya siku ya leo. Kwa hivyo ningependa tuingie katika hali ya kuworship Mungu. Na napenda kuwakaribisha watumishi wa Bwana uh, the worship team watakao tuongoza katika worship yetu ya siku ya leo. Na ningependa ninapozungumza hivi ujiandae, uandae moyo wako, andaa roho yako katika kutoa hiyo ibada ya kuabudu Mungu, ya ku worship the Lord. When we worship the Lord, tunaonyesha heshima yetu na kunyenye ya kwetu mbele za Bwana. Na kwa hivyo ningependa ni ku encourage that as we worship the Lord, we are going to join together with us here so that we can bring this worship to our God because as we worship our God, we are giving a sacrifice. Kwa hivyo ningependa uandae moyo wako you give this sacrifice unto the Lord ambayo itakubalika mbele za Bwana. Karibuni worship team. Glorious God. Yes. 
Bwanaesu asifiwe na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya ubali huu na ningependa tuingie katika maombi na tunapoingia katika maombi kwa sababu mtoto una nafasi ya kujipeleka mbele za Bwana kumbuka kila nafsi kama vile ambavyo neno la Mungu linasema kwamba kila ulimi utakiri ya kwamba Yesu Kristo ni Bwana na kila goti litapigwa mbele za Bwana Hivi ni kusema ya kwamba kila nafsi, kila mtu anayeishi, kila mtu ambaye yuko katika dunia hii, ana nafasi ya kujipeleka mbele za Bwana na kunena na Mungu wake kwa sababu tunapozungumza na kunena na Mungu, tunayafanya mapenzi yetu ama maombi yetu yajulikane na Bwana. Na tunapoingia katika maombi, ningetaka nisome neno katika kitabu cha Isaia litakalo tuongoza katika maombi. Neno hili liko katika kitabu cha Isaia Tisa, kitabu cha Isaia tisa, na itaza mustari wa sita. Na inasoma um, in uh, NIV version. Inasema hivi, for to us a child is born, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called wonderful counselor. Nataka tuelewa na kushika maneno haya, he will be called wonderful counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice, righteousness from that time 
on and forever. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumesoma katika kitabu cha Isaia 9 6 linasema hivi, for unto us a child is born. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba this child is Jesus Christ. Na kama huyu mtoto ni Yesu Kristo, Biblia inasema ya kwamba atakapozaliwa. Biblia inasema ana majina mengi sana. He will be called a wonderful counselor. Hivi ni kusema ya kwamba atakuwa mshauri wa ajabu. Atakuwa prince of peace Atakuwa ni mfalme wa amani Na bibide pia inasame ya kwamba The government Ama serikali Hali ya mamlaka itakuwa mabegani mwake. Ningetaka tuombe mungu na tunapo kumbuka hili neno. Kuhusu Jesus Christ, who is a wonderful counselor. Abaye ni mshauri wa ajabu. Na ambaye serikali na mamlaka yatakuwa mabegani mwake. Hivi ni kusama ya kwamba. Lolote tutakalo liomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo huyo. Ambaye mamlaka na hata uh, amri iko mabegani mwake hivi ni kusema nini yeye ana mamlaka yeye ni mshauri wa ajabu kwa hivyo tunapomuomba tunapomuendea tukiwa na ajabu lolote ambalo limetulemea kama ni mshauri wa ajabu basi ana nguvu ana uwezo wa kutushauri na kutuelekeza biblia pia imesema ya kwamba yeye ni mfalme wa amani kwa hivyo yeyote yule atakaye muendea akiwa na miziko ndani ya moyo wake amekosa amani Huyo ni mgonjwa Kuna huyu mshauri wa ajabu Kuna huyu mfalme wa amani Ataka yeleta amani katika maisha yako Ataka yeleta amani katika nyumba yako Na bibili nasema ya kwamba Hata mamlaka yote Yako mabegani mwake Hivi ni kusema Ya kwamba utawala wake Utakuwa leo hata milele Kwa hivyo mtoto nigependa umwende huyu mfalme wa ajabu This prince of peace Ambaye atatusaidia kumwende beba mizigo yetu. Na bibili nasema ya kwamba, come to me all oh ye that labor and I will give you rest. Kwa hivyo siku hii ya leo, kama kuna mambo ambao yako ndani ya moyo wako, na ya nakufinyilia, mambo hayo ya nayo kutesa, unajukumu, unanafasi ya kuyapelekea, huyo ambaye ni mfalme wa amani, huyo ambaye mamraka, yako mabegani mwake, na anaweza kuamuru hali yoyote katika maisha yako. Na bibili nasema ya kwamba tunaweza tukiamini kuamuru mlima ukatoka ama ukangoka kutoka mahali pamoja mpaka mahali pengine kwa sababu tunaye muamini ni yule ambaye anaamrisha hali. Tunakutukuza mugu wetu wa binguni kwa sababu wewe ni mwema na muaminifu na hata kwa sababu ya kutupatia Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mwanao ambaye alizaliwa ili naye aje atusaidie kutukomboa na kutuondolea hali zilizo tulemea katika maisha haya na kwa sababu wewe Yesu Kristo ni mfalme wa amani tunaomba kwamba siku hii ya leo wale ambao hawana amani wale ambao wamelemewa na mambo ambayo yamekuwa mzigo kwao unaweza kuamuru hali hizo na zinaweza kukutii kwa sababu serikali yote na mamlaka yote yako mabegani mwako na neno lako limesema kwa sababu wewe ndiwe mfalme wa amani unaweza kuamuru amani kuwa katika jamii hizo na katika maisha ya watoto hawa katika jina la Yesu Kristo wakati ambapo wako katika umri huu mdogo hata watakapokuwa watu wazima unaweza kuelekeza na kutawala maisha ya watoto hawa pamoja na wazazi wao katika hali zao za masomo na katika hali zao za kijamii ewe Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mfalme wa amani na bebe ambaye ni mshauri wa ajabu unaweza kuwashauri na kuwaelekeza katika jia za haki na katika heki mayote inayopatikana ndani yako kwa sababu wewe ni mshauri tunakuaminia maisha yetu wakati sisi ni watoto wadogo hata tutakapokuwa watu wazima ibada ya siku ya leo tunaibariki na tunaibariki
tunaomba ya kwamba utawabariki watakao shiriki hapa na wale ambao wako pale nyumbani wakati neno lako linaponenwa na kuletwa hapa na mwalimu wetu utalifuata hilo neno lako ili kuhakikisha kwamba limetimiza kusudi lako kama vile ambavyo neno lako limesema ya kwamba wewe hulifuata neno lako na kuhakikisha limetimiza kusudi lake katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunajiachilia mikononi mwako tunapoamini ya kwamba utakuwa pamoja na sisi hapa tunapoanza ibada yetu ya siku ya leo hata tutakapomaliza na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen everybody say amen bwana Yesu asifiwe tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya umbali huo na ningependa wakati huu tuingie katika hali ya sifa I want us to get into praises and when we are praising the Lord we are giving the best from our hearts. Maana tunataka kumtukuza Mungu because of who he is. He deserves our praises, he deserves our honor, and that's what I want us to do. Amen. Karibu sana, praise and worship.
kwa sababu ya umbali huo ambao tumeenda na I thank God because tumeweza kutoa ibada zetu na praise zetu kwa Mungu. Nataka tuingie katika presentations. Pay attention kwa sababu hapa kuna mistari ya Biblia, kuna nyimbo, kuna poems and all these things and they are all prepared kwa sababu tunapenda ya kwamba kila mtu akabarikiwa kwa njia moja na nyingine. Kwa hivyo wale ambao wanako na pre, uh, presentations, boys and girls, karibuni sana and we are going to be attentive praise god praise god again my name is margaret Tanjiko. i'm in class 7 i'm born again and i have a spoken word welcome Though on a bed of suffering, I'm called away to stay. My spirit's rook with pressure to that long promised day. When free from sins and sorrow, I'm ever more to be with him who died to save me, the man of Calvary. My weary days of suffering will soon have passed away and rest is in the sitter in heaven's eternal day. So with the hope before me, impatient I will be, sustained in my affliction until the face in me. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Danson Kuria. We are born again. My name is Divine. And my name is John. And, and we, we have, have a memory verse and a song. Welcome. Welcome. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 19. It says, Truthful lips endure us forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. And the song goes, the angels are singing Hosanna in the highest. 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 Thank you.
praise God, praise God again. My name is Rolangu. I'm born again. I'm in grade seven and I have a soul. Welcome. Pendola Mwanadam, Pendola Kifa Urongo, Pendola Anasa, Musho Eni Matatizo, Nipendo Gani, La Kulinga Nishwanawe, Msalabani, Kanifi Abuana Wangu, Oh, Nimetuli Arabana, Nimetuli Amikono Nimwako, Nimetuli Amolana, Nimetuli Ambawani, Zako Mikono. Niweka na viganja nika nichora Kwako si banduki, mimi si banduki nisha tulia Nime tulia rabana, nime tulia mikono ni mwako Nime tulia maulana, nime tulia mbawani Zako mikono ni umeniweka na viganja nika nichora Kwako si banduki, mimi si banduki nisha tulia Wali sema Heti mimi siwezi, nika wambia, kuna mungu wanae ishi. Waliku jaa, kuona ulipo ni bariki. Na sasa, na kushukuru buwana, nimetulia rabana, nimetulia mikono ni mwako, nimetulia molana. Nime tuli ambawani zako mikono ni umeniweka na viganja ni kani chora kwa kosi banduki mimi si banduki ni shatulia nime tuli arabana nime tuli amikono ni mako nime tuli amolana nime tuli ambawani zako mikono ni umeniweka na viganja ni kani chora. Kwa ko si banduki, mimi si banduki ni shatulia. Thank you. Praise God, praise God again. My name is Prince Jess Odalo. I'm in grade four. I'm born again, and I have two memory verses. Welcome. Isaiah chapter one verse nineteen. It says, "If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best of the land." Luke chapter 6, verse 38, it says, Give and it shall be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Thank you. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe, hallelujah. Tumefika wakati ambo ni muhimu sana. Tumefika katika wakati ambo ni muhimu sana, makulisikiliza neno la bwana. And I want you to be prepared with your pen, with your Bible, and your notebook. Because whatever the teacher is going to teach here, Ata kupatia kazi ambayo utafanya na kisha baadae tutaisahihisha wiki ijayo. Kwa hivyo, makinika sana tunapo lisikiliza neno la bwana, mana hili neno la bwana litatusaidia katika maisha yetu. Kwa hivyo, mwalimu wetu karibu, nisaidia kumleta mwalimu wetu kwa makofi, tunapo mkaribisha, asanti, karibu ni sana. Bwana asifiwe, bwana asifiwe mtoto pale nyumbani na mtazamaji ni yote ambaye anaitazama siku hii ya leo karibu katika our second part of the Destiny Kids Service. Karibu sana, mimi ni teacher Florence na siku hii ya leo mwalimu wetu wa ishara ni teacher Martha. Karibu sana na tuambatane pamoja last week teacher Joseph aliweza kutufundisha vizuri vizuri sana. Na topic yake ilikuwa gani? Unakumbuka mtoto? Yes, ilikuwa kuhusu the fruit of obedience. I hope you remember. I hope you did your homework well. Na wata tuweze kusahihisha homework yetu ya siku hii ya leo. Yeah. So, question number one for the lower classes. That is PP1 to grade 3. Question ya kwanza ilikuwa draw and color. Draw and color. Abraham and Isaac obeying God. Did you color? I hope so. You colored using your favorite colors, mtoto. Na kama ulifanya hivyo, mzazi pale nyumbani, ebu patia mtoto 10 marks. Na mimi nita kupatia nini? Wow, congratulations for that. Upper classes, kwanzia class 4 and above, your questions were like this. Question number 1. What is the meaning of the word obedience, mtoto? What is the meaning of the word obedience? Mwalimu alikuelezea vizuri. So the meaning of the word obedience is to follow instructions or order or law. So kama uliandika hivyo mtoto, to follow instructions, order or law. Two marks for that. Question number two. 
Give any four fruits of obedience. Give any four fruits of obedience. Mwalimu aliwapatia nyingi, lakini we only want four. So what ni wasome zote, ili kama umiandika one of that, correct. So ya kwanza, divine provision. Kambo liandika divine provision, it's correct. Two, we are entrusted very much. Tick. Three, we receive blessings that will affect generations. We receive blessings that will affect generations. Kambo liandika hiyo, tick. Four, Good, uh, God fulfills his promise. Yes, God fulfills his promises. So if you wrote that, put a tick. Five, and the last one, you live long life. You live long life. Tick. So kama ilia uliandika any four of those. Give yourself four marks. Very good. Question number three. Give any two facts about obedience. Give any two facts about obedience. So number one, sometimes it's costly. Yes, obedience is costly at times. So come on, Andika, you put a tick. Number two, it requires faith in God. So if you wrote, it requires faith in God, put another tick. And then number three, it requires humility. Yes, obedience requires humility in total. If you wrote that, tick. Four, it requires commitment. Yes, obedience requires commitment. So, kama uliandika hiyo, put a tick. So, ulikuwa uandike ngapi mtoto? Only two. So, two marks. Question number four, list down two parcels you are supposed to obey. So, mtoto, who are you supposed to obey? So, teacher, litupatia four, but you only supposed to write two. So, one, God's voice. So, kama uliandika God's voice, put a tick. Number two, the word of God. So if you, if you wrote the word of God, put a tick. Number three, parents. Yes, you're supposed to obey our parents also. So if you wrote parents, put a tick. Number four, destiny help us. So if you wrote destiny help us, put another tick. So a total of two marks. So zote zinakuja ngapi mtoto umesabu? Yes, ten marks. So kama umepata zote, congratulations. Kama umianguka moja mbili, do the corrections na mungu ataweza kukubariki. Na hope we are together. So mtoto, let us go to our topic for today. It's about mental health. Mental health. Mtoto ebuse ma mental health. Mental health. Yes. What is mental health? Kwa kiswaili tuneza sema, afya ya kimawazo. Eh? Afya ya kimawazo. Nanojua mawazo yako yako wapi? yako katika your mind hakili yako so wakati tunapojifunza kuhusu mental health we are talking about our mind mawazo yetu akili yetu that is what we shall be talking about na je mental health ni kusema nini it is a condition that affects how you feel how you think and how you act hii ni hali ambayo inakusababisha wewe vile unavyofikiria vile unavyohisi ndani yako Na vile unavyo tenda mambo katika maisha yako, mental health. Na yote nimesema iko wapi? Kwa hakili, mtoto. Wow, I hope tuko pamoja. Wacha tusikie, Biblia inasema nini kuhusu mental health. So we shall be reading Romans 12 verse 2. Inasema nini? Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What is to transform? Ku transform in a manisha to change. Kubadilisha hali yako ya kimawazo. Eh? What is to renew? Renew means replace. Eh? Ebu badilisha hali ya kimawazo. Yali amba unafikilia siku hii alo. Badilisha. Na uweke mambo mapi amba watakusaidia katika maisha. Yote yako katika mawazo yako. So let us be transformed mtoto. Let us be renewing of our minds. Na mungu wataweza kutubariki. So, what are tuende to our next step? What causes poor mental health? Do you know you can have poor mental health mtoto? Ebu tuone, nini nasababisha kuwa na poor mental health? Wakati mawazo yako ama hakiri yako ama vile unavyo fikiria it is affected so what causes number one low self esteem what is self esteem self esteem ni ile hali ya kujipenda eh? so wakati uko na low self esteem wewe haujipendi 
yani wewe unaona mimi siwezi mimi sistahili mimi hata siwezi simama mbele ya watu ni answer questions pale shuleni you have low esteem na hiyo imekuingia kwa mawazo yako number two, social isolation so what is social isolation mtoto social isolation ni mahali umetengwa na marafiki zako marafiki wanasema oh mimi huwa sitaki kukaa na yele sitaki kukaa na yeye sitaki ku, ku, kucheza na yeye that is social isolation hata pale nyumbani unakuwa isolated unatengwa na watu wenyu unatengwa na your sisters hmm. wewe unasumbua usikae karibu na mimi that is uh, that is a one cause of mental health, poor mental health. Number three is drugs and bad habits. Yes, drugs and bad habits, mtoto. What are drugs? Drugs are things that we take inside our bodies. Ambo inatubadilisha vile tunavyo fikiria. Now, these drugs can make you to have poor mental health. For example, bangi, mira, izi zote zina tuharibu ama zinafanya mawazo yetu ibadilike. Even bad habits. But habits can also make us uh, change or have poor mental health. So the next one is discouragement. Yes, unasikia umeshushwa, unasikia sasa mambo hajendelei vile niko. That is also another cause of poor mental health. And then number five is losing a loved one. Yes, losing a loved one. Especially wakati mama pale nyumbani ya meaga, baba, mwazazi, sister, brother, wakati wa meaga, ama mtu ambayo unapenda sana, ameaga. Do you know hiyo kitu ineza sababisha ukue na poor mental health mtoto? So that is another cause. Number six is negative thoughts mtoto. Negative thoughts. Mawazo ambayo si ya kiungu ndeni yako, eh, mimi nitaiba, Mimi pengine nitafanya hivi or oh, even mimi nitajua those are negative thoughts ambazo tunatakana tuzitoe katika mawazo yetu number 6 7 bad friends mtoto yes some friends are bad especially wale ambao wanataka kukuelekeza mahali kustahili in fact the bible says that bad friends or bad company corrupts good morals. Mtoto unaweza kuwa wa tabia nzuri wa kupendeka. Lakini wale marafiki ambao unatembea nao, imagine watakuharibu na watakubadilisha hali ya kimawazo na you can even develop poor mental health. Number 8, bullying in schools. Do you know what is bullying? Bullying ni ile hali ambayo uko pale shuleni, mtu amekuja pengine ni a big boy, amekwambia fanya hivi, hebu niandikie homework, hebu nipatie hiyo kitabu, hebu nipatie pesa fulani, bullying. And also that one, iki persist ama ikikua for so long, it can affect your poor mental health. So mtoto, those are the causes ambazo tuko nazo kwa siku hii leo, but ziko nyingi nyingi sana. Na for today, we shall only be looking at those. Nataraji tuko pamoja, so mtoto, wacha tuangalie, utajuaje, ukona poor mental health. So, signs of poor mental health. How will you know you are suffering from poor mental health? Na ukumbuke, mawazo yako wakati unadevelop kuwa poor, to, to poor, to become poor. How utajua mtoto? But it comes gradually, pole pole tu, pole pole tu. Na umuisho unajipata mawazo yako imekuwa interfered with. So, number one, anger. What is anger mtoto? Hasira. So, ustazi ingini unakuwa na hasira sana, sana, sana. Eh, mama kikuongelesha, unabast na hasira, unamongelesha vibaya. That is a sign of poor mental health mtoto. Number two is bitterness. Yes, unakuwa na uchungu ndani yako. Eh, kwa sababu rafiki yangu fulani alinifanyia hivi. So, unakuwa na bitterness, uchungu ndani yako. That is another sign of poor mental health. Number three, fear mtoto. Hey, you develop fear. Kuogopa. Yani unogopa tu vitu ambavyo haviweleweki. Unknown things. You will start fearing everything. Hey, that is another sign of poor mental health. So kama wewe ni mtu wa kuogopa. Even a sound. Mtu wa kikongesha kitu. Ha? Umesha ogopa. You have poor mental health. And then number four. Wanting to be alone. Yes. Wakati mingine. Unataka kuwa peke yako. Unajufungia kwa room peke yako. That is a sign of poor mental health. Uta kikuongelesha wa marafiki zako. Uta kikucheza poor mental health. A sign of poor mental health. So wakati unajihisi, you just want to be alone. Oh, uta kikuongea na mama. Uta kikuongea na your sister. Uta kikuwa peke yako. That is a sign of poor mental health. And then...
five, lack of concentration. Yes, uko pale shuleni, mwalimu anafunza, lakini mawazo yako hayako pale. Poor concentration pale shuleni. That is also another sign of poor mental health. Ebu tuwe watoto wa kukonsentrate pale shuleni. Wan, na ukiona kukonsentrate vile teacher anasema, mama anasema pale nyumbani, ebu jua kuna mambo ambao hayendi vizuri katika mawazo yako. And then the last one is panic. Yes, you start panicking. Eh? Ujui nidi itatokia kesho. Kwa sababu, hile jambo negative thoughts already zimeingia kwa mawazo. So umeanza kudevelop panic. Eh? Especially wakati huu wa corona. Tuko nyumbani, hatujarudi shule. So unanza kupanic. Oh, shule nitarudi kweli. Nitamaliza kweli. You start panicking. Everything goes to your mind. Amen, mtoto. Nataraji tuko pamoja. There are very other, many other, many other signs of poor mental health. But for today, tutangalia only those ones. So mtoto, how do we protect ourselves? Nime kuambia causes, nime kuambia signs. But there is a way that you can protect yourself from this poor, from having poor mental health. So number one is love yourself always. Yes, mtoto. Ebu jipende. Kuwa wakujipenda. Ata Biblia nasema, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Kumanisha nini? Lazima ujipende kwanza, ndi upende wengine. So it's always good to love yourself. Ata kuna Biblia nasema, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Ebu kila siku napo wa muka, unajiangalia kwa kiyo, unasema mimi, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, mtoto, love yourself. Eh? Kuwa wewe, we, yani be yourself and love yourself. Na wakati unajipenda, ha, you'll develop good mental health. And then number two, having positive minds. Yes, ebu kumbuka tujisema causes of poor mental health ni negative thoughts. Eh? So you are supposed to develop positive thoughts. Ebu sema mimi, nitasoma, nitakuwa mtu fulani katika hii maisha. Eh? Have positive thoughts. And always meditate on the word of God. Always. Weka positive thoughts ndani yako. Na zitaweza kukusaidia katika maisha. And then number four is do something you like, you, you, you are good at. Again, do something you are good at. Mtoto, what do you like doing? And that's why every day tunakuja hapa, tunakuambia draw. So if you like drawing, draw. If you like singing, you sing what you like. If you like acting, ebu act. Whatever you like doing, do it with all your passion. Kwa sababu, hapo, ndiyo your talent. So do it, do what you like doing all the time. Na mungu ataweza kukubariki. So number five, express your feelings. Yes, ebu express your feelings. Wakati you are sad, unasikio umeshushwa moyo, ebu enda kwa mom, ebu enda kwa teacher, umambia unajua teacher, mimi nasikia hivi na hivi. Toa mawazo yako, toa hile kitu inakusumbua ndani yako. Kwa sababu, iyo kitu ambayo iko ndani yako, diyo inasababisha poor mental health. So always express your feelings. Go to your sister, big sister, mwambie sister, unajua mbimi nilifanya hivi na hivi na hivi, na hisi hivi na hivi. Talk it out, express your feelings, vilo na vyo hisi. Na ukifanya hivyo, your mental health will improve. And in other words, you will protect your mental health. And then, reading the word of God. Yes, oh, let us be doers of the word. Yani, wacha tu some neno. Na wakati tunasoma neno, memory verse, eh? Nae mungu anatusaidia, anasaidia mawazo yetu. And then the, na, the, the, the number seven uh -huh, is prayer and fasting. Yes, mtoto. Ebu wa kila wakati. Eh? Now, fast all the time also. This one will also protect your mental health. As we pray, nda mbele za mungu, muambie mungu, nisaidie mawazo yangu. Eh? Do you know mawazo yako, imebeba, imekubeba. In fact, mawazo, do inabeba kila kitu katika mwili wako. Ebu kwa mfando, umegongwa mkono. Iyo uchungu, the first place inaenda ni katika mawazo yako. So, mawazo yetu imebeba our whole body. So, it is good to go before God. Na umambi, oh mungu, nisaidie katika mawazo yangu. Even pray, always pray and fast for this. And then, the last one, mtoto, number eight, playing with your friends. Do you have friends? Yes, go play with your friends. Saa zingine kucheza ni mzuri, eh? lakini si kucheza tena the whole day. Have some time to play also. 
cheza na marafiki zako wale ambao wani wazuri nimesema marafiki wazuri sio wale ambao watakwambia twende tukaibe maembe twende tukaibe hapa hapana ni wale ambao wanakuelekeza with good values those are your friends play with them all the games that played cheza eh mpaka usikie mwili kweli leo nimecheza hata ukirudi home unapata mamu na mwambie eh hey, mamu leo nimecheza nimechoka na wakati unafanya hivyo hey you are improving or you are protecting your mental health mtoto i hope tuko pamoja kwa leo tutasoma hizo but there are very many other ways of protecting your mental health na taraji tuko pamoja mtoto na unabarikiwa So mtoto why is mental health important? Kwa nini mawazo yako yawe sawa mtoto? Eh? We have looked at the causes, we have looked at the signs, we have looked at how you are supposed to protect yourself. Na je, kwa nini mawazo yako ni muhimu ukwe na mawazo ambayo inastahili? So number one, we are talking about causes one to develop good relations with others yes hey mtoto hata ukiwa pale nyumbani uwezi kuwa na a good relationship na wazazi wako kama mawazo yako ni poor if you have poor mental health na kuambia hautasikizana na mtu pale nyumbani hata shule hata walimu hey lakini wakati mawazo yako you protect them ni sawa you have good mental health you are able to kusikizana na wazazi marafiki unaweza kusikizana nao yes number two, it improves our physical health yes our physical health ni kuambia mawazo yetu imebeba all parts of our bodies our physical health so wakati mawazo yako iko sawa hey the whole body is functioning well mtoto eh yeah? unaweza kimbia unaweza fanya nini physical health kwa sababu mawazo yako yako sawa lakini wakati you have poor mental health And you know mtoto poor mental health can also lead to madness eh? you see people who are walking around watu wanabao wanatembea huko barabarani wanaokota hii wanaokota hii kwa sababu mawazo yao it has been affected na unajua wakati anaokota karatasi na nini mwili mwingine all the other parts of the body ziko sawa lakini mawazo ndio haiko sawa so wakati tuko na good mental health we can improve our physical health also and then number three, we are able to cope with various challenges of life yes mtoto hii maisha iko na challenges nyingi sana especially pale nyumbani pengine kuna poverty umaskini eh pengine hujakunywa chai kuna chakula au na nguo smart those are some of the challenges that you have pale nyumbani and you see wakati mawazo yako iko sawa mtoto you are able to cope up with these challenges za nyumbani za shule na za maisha yako mtoto and then number four, improves academic performance yes tulisema poor mental health causes lack of concentration wewe mwalimu anafunza tu hata usiki mawazo yako iko mahali pengine lakini wakati mawazo yako iko sawa you are able to listen to the teacher you are able to listen to your mom your parents na yote pale nyumbani na sana sana pale shule mpaka your academic performance hey unakuwa namba mzuri na unakuwa na marks mzuri kwa nini your mental health is good you have good mental health wow mtoto those are some of the importance but there are so many of them lakini kwa leo tutajifunza hizo i hope you are together mtoto pale nyumbani na una bado unaandika na bado unafurahia our topic for today. So mtoto there are three important reminders that I would like you to remember this day. Number one, you matter. You matter a lot mtoto. Usiseme mimi mtu hakuna mtu ananijali, hakuna mtu ananishughulikia hapana mtoto. You matter a lot. Eh? Wewe ni wadhamana. Wewe ni mshindi. You matter a lot. Every morning ukiamuka, unasema mimi ni mshindi, mimi ninaweza, eh? You matter a lot mtoto. It doesn't matter watu wamesema nini kukuhusu. Wewe una matter. You matter a lot in this life. And then number two, you are loved. Yes, mtoto. You are loved. Number one, God loves you so much. 
eh? God loves you so much. Number two, wazazi wako wanakupenda. Hmm? Hata kama wakuambi, wanakupenda sana. Hata pale shuleni, walimu wanakupenda. Hata marafiki zaku wanakupenda. Hmm, hata mimi ninakupenda sana mtoto. So, can you feel, feel, ibuzisi, mimi ninapendwa, number one, ninapendwa na mungu, ninapendwa na wazazi wangu, hata teacher pale nishule, ananipenda. Hey, na ukifanya hivyo, you are protecting your mental health. And then, number three, everything will be okay. Mtoto, kila kitu itakuwa sawa. Everything will be okay. Eh? Yeah? It doesn't matter unapitia nini. Poverty tulisema, shame, pengine unanguo smart, una, lakini mekuja kukuambia. Everything will be okay. Kila kitu itakuwa sawa. Bora ujiweke katika mungu. Bora ujiweke katika mikono ya mungu. Na utaweza kubarikiu. Everything will be okay. It doesn't matter. Wewe unapitia nini, unapitia shame, unapitia nini. But everything will be okay. So I hope to kupamoja mtoto. Na mungu anaendelea kukubariki. So let us uh, go to our next part ambayo ni our memory verse for today. So our memory verse for today, mtoto, comes from the book of Colossians 3, 2. Na ninasoma N-I-V. So inasema nini mtoto? Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Mtoto, set your mind. Where are you setting your mind? He didn't say to those negative thoughts. Able to wake the new or positive thoughts. Eh? Renew your mind. That's what our, our scripture said. Renew your, transform, change. So, wakati unasema set your mind on things above. Ebu kila wakati mawaze yako. Ikuwe na positive thoughts. Godly thoughts. Eh? Toa yale evil thoughts. Ndo inasema not on earthly th things. Watana na three things mtoto. Kama kuiba, jealousy, hatred. Tua hizo katika mawazo yako. Lakini weka love. Eh? Weka kindness. Weka honesty. That is what our memory verse says. Ebu to read it tena mtoto for the last time. Colossians 3, 2. It says, set your mind on things above, not on our three Things, mtoto. So, mtoto, how will you set your mind on things above? You'll only set your mind on things above. Wakati unamkaribisha huyu yesu katika maisha yako. Unambia yesu, unataka kuwa rafiki wako. Ili wakati unakuja katika maisha yangu, ninaweza kubadilisha mawazo yangu. So, mtoto, ni vizuri? Kujuana na huyu yesu na ni vizuri kuokoka ili ukue rafiki wake kila wakati. So mtoto, kama ujaokoka pale nyumbani na ungependa kuokoka mzazi na yote ambaya na nitazama siku hii ya leo, ningependa ni kuelekeze katika maombi ya kutubu ili uweze kushikana na huyu yesu. Hata yesu watakusaidia katika mawazo yako. So funga macho mtoto, mzazi, mtu yata ambaya nitazama pale nyumbani, ili tuweze kuomba. So sema buwana yesu, siku hii ya leo, nimekuja mbele zako, ninakili mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Ni oshe unifanye kiumbe kipia. Na kutoka siku hii ya leo, nimeokoka. Nisaidie na uweze kutembea na mimi. Amen. Amen mtoto. Amen. You may renew your life. You may renew your mind. You may transform. You have changed. You become a new creature mtoto. Na wakati unendelea walking with Christ. Mungu naya naenda kukuendelea kukusaidia katika mawazo yako. Na mungu atendelea kukusaidia. Wow mtoto. Ninaona mda wetu unaendelea kusonga na ningependa tuongee zaidi na zaidi kuhusu mental health. Lakini tutatia hapo, lakini before niye malize, nataka kukuatia homework. Na wacha hii homework ufanye vizuri. Kwa sababu hii homework itakusaidia in your mental health, by improving your mental health. So, PP1 to grade 3, are you ready for your homework? 
I hope so. So draw and color yourself playing with other children. Draw and color yourself playing with other children. So color properly. Eh, yeah, wego kicheza na rafiki yako, your best friend. Hata andika jina yake hapo. Mi nacheza na Susan, nacheza na John. Ye ndio my best friend. So draw using your favorite colors and color well. Uta download yo copy ya drawing and coloring from where? mbcimedia.com.co slash kids. Again, mbcimedia.co slash kids. Hapo ndi utapata hiyo portrait. So, upper classes, number one, give three courses of poor mental health. Yes, we have given them, mitumia kupatia nyingi, but I only want three. So, three marks. So, question number two, give three signs of poor mental health. Mtoto, give three signs. I have given you so many, but I only want three. Mtoto, and then question number three. Give two ways that we can protect our mental health. How can you protect your mental health, Mtoto? We have given you so many, but Nataka, Gapi, two. I only want two. And then the last one, give two importance of mental health. Yes, Mtoto, I've given you importance of mental health, so I only want two. So a total of 10 marks. Wow, we've come to the end of our service for today, Mtoto. Na taraju mefurahia our topic for today. Na mungu atendelea kukubariki ili aweze kuprotect your mental health. Ebu kumbuka you matter, Mtoto. You are loved, Mtoto. And everything is going to be okay. Every morning you wake up, Ebu Imba, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Na mungu ataweza kukubariki. So, wacha tuombe, tunapo maliza. So, funga macho Mtoto pale nyumbani, tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakuja mbele zako tena tukisema ni asante kwa umbali huu. Ni asante kwa our service for today, Destiny Kids Service. Ni asante kwa sababu siku hii leo umetufundisha kuhusu mental health. Ebu bariki mtoto pale nyumbani, improve their mental health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We honor you and glorify your wonderful name and it is in Jesus name we do pray and believe. Amen. Bye bye mtoto. Bye bye. We will go, we will be your hands.